welcome you all. Myself, Mr. S.K. Kulkarni, Assistant Professor Walchan Institute of Technology, Sholapur. I am here to discuss with you uh, workability of concrete, mainly slum test. Learning outcomes of today's session are, at the end of this session, students will be able to describe workability of concrete and codal specifications and they will be able to perform slum test or on concrete in laboratory. What is workability? Workability of concrete is the ease with which concrete can be mixed, can be placed, consolidated and finished. So when will be concrete called workable? When its uh, internal friction between the particles of concrete will be minimum and lubrication will be good. Right? Then only it can be easily mixed. Such a concrete uh, is called a workable concrete. And the strength of concrete uh, decreases with increase in workability beyond certain limit. Remember, here we can see workable concrete flowing easily. Now there are some factors which affect workability of concrete. Which are those? First is water content. Then mix proportion size and shape of aggregates more the size of aggregate less will be uh, the surface area and more will be the workability of concrete surface texture of aggregate rough the surface texture of aggregate then uh, more will be the surface area less will be the workability likewise grading of aggregates and use of admixtures like super plasticizers etc all these factors affect workability significantly. Now how to measure this workability? IS code has uh, or Indian standard codes have devised uh, these tests for measuring workability of concrete. Slump test, compacting factor test, flow test, VB consistometer test. Mainly today we will focus on the first test that is slump test. Generally, slump and compacting factor tests are used widely for measurement of workability. And the degree of workability depends on the values of test results given by these uh, workability tests. Now, there are certain specifications which are laid down for this slump value of concrete by Indian Standard Code IS 456 2000. Uh, degree of workability is divided into three parts for three ranges we can say low, medium and high. Which will be low workability uh, of concrete when slump value which is measured in mm that we will discuss uh, hereafter 25 to 50 mm of slump in mm shows that concrete is having low workability and where this concrete is used for uh, works of roads where uh, the hand operated machines are used for vibrating uh, the concrete and also mass concrete foundations. Then medium degree of workability. When slump value ranges between 50 to 100 mm, it comes under medium workability, medium workability range. And this, work, this particular concrete is used normally for all important types of works, right? Then high workable concrete, when it will be called high workable? when slump is between 100 to 150 mm and it is used when sections uh, with congested reinforcements are there. Slump test apparatus is devised by IS 7320 1974 which shall be used for uh, performing this test. Here you can see the photograph and here the dimensions of the mold. So standard dimensions are given. This particular mold only shall be used for this test along with tamping rod with scale and travels. Now let us see step by step the test procedure uh, which is uh, given by IS 1199-1959. Which are the steps? Step number one, the internal surface of the mold is first cleaned and then thin layer of oil is applied to the internal surface. Then mold is placed on smooth horizontal rigid and non-absorbent surface. This is the next step. Why uh, the internal surface is oiled? So that uh, there should not be any concrete which will be sticking to the internal surface of the mold after 
uh, the uh, test is done, right? Then mold is filled with concrete in four layers, remember. Mold is filled in four layers. Every one fourth height of the mold is tamped with the help of tamping rod 25 times, remember. Right? And the tamping should be done evenly over the cross section. After top layer is rotted, the concrete is struck off level with travel. And now the mold is removed from the concrete immediately by raising it slowly and carefully in vertical direction. Here you can see. Now the concrete will slump or it will subside. subside. Now what is the level difference between the height of the mold and subsided surface of the concrete that is measured and it is reported as slump of that particular concrete in mm. Now there are generally uh, three to four patterns of um, slump of concrete uh, depending upon the type of slump. First is true slump. When the slump is uh, or the subsidence of the concrete is even, right? Evenly it slumps, it is called as true slump. This first case is of true slump, it is desirable one. But generally, uh, uh, sometimes uh, it may shear the uh, uh, slump and it may be collapse slump or it may be zero slump. What is shear slump? If one half of the uh, concrete surface uh, slides down, then it is uh, shear slump. When it will be uh, shear slump? When concrete is non-cohesive and it shows uh, segregation of concrete. So how to measure the slump? Take the average of two levels and find out the uh, slump. Okay. Then third is collapse. Concrete suddenly collapses like in third case. When workability is much more, you will see that collapse is there. And one more type is zero slump. There is no change uh, of levels. So when workability is zero, there will be zero slump. Significance of this test. Remember, when uh, the concrete mix is a plastic one, it will give uh, good slump value or consistent value. If it is not a plastic mix or it is a stiff mix, we will find that the variation is much less or uh, almost zero. So in such cases or when concrete is stiff, we cannot use uh, the slump test for measurement of workability. IS-456 suggests for such a low category of workability, we should go for compacting factor test, another test for measurement of slump. Now here is one exercise for you, dear friends. We will stop a while here. Uh, this particular example you have to solve. See, uh, in a certain slump test, height of subsidence of concrete after removal of mold is observed to be 200 mm. If the height of mold is 284 mm initially, compute slump of the concrete. Comment on workability of, uh, workability range of this concrete uh, uh, in which this slump value lies. Here are the answers. Slump of concrete, height of mold minus height of subsidence of concrete. So you will find that 285 minus 200, slump is 85 mm. Remarks, as the range of slump is between 75 to 100 mm, this uh, particular concrete comes under medium workable range. And so workability is medium one. Here are the few references. Go through these. Thank you.